Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are jumping back into some more Batania, also getting our enchanting on. So, I hope you guys are ready. Right off the bat, we're jumping into this bad boy. So as you can see, my mana pools are pretty much full. Um, I have these now diverting to two more mana pools hanging off of Apothecary. Like I said, these can be used for so many things. Um, and these are basically just hang, look like they're hanging down from one another, but they're kind of filling up these mana pools. I've also used this over here to kind of transfer some mana over via our fantastic mana tablet. So as you can see, I have some stuff already ready to go. And that is the stuff needed for our beautiful elven gateway. Let's go ahead and make this bad boy. So the corners you don't need, but I always throw them in They're bonus, right? We can use them later. No, I'm just kidding. We, you don't actually have to have them, but they are actually useful for the build. Um, oh, that actually needs to go. <laughs> of course, I don't have an ax right on me. Um, there we go. Perfect. It's always nice to have that little tool on me. Um, so I can, I can build this out just like so. And like I said, I'll leave the corners for now, but, um, you can always break them and, and use other things. I actually think doing this would probably be a little bit better using some stairs that's a thing we can always do that grab some stairs place them on the corners hmm that'll actually make it look fantastic look at that yeah you never would have noticed i did not been for that look at that it it fits in perfectly so how do we activate this well we need to also have some natura pylons funny word but uh very cool so what we do Place these on top, just like that of that block and this block. And voila, we're ready to access the Elven Gateway. I know, just right off the bat. Bam! I It didn't work. Bam! Why is it not working? Bam, bam, shift right click. Nothing's working. That's because I missed this block. Wow, Chosen, you're on fire today. Bam! All right, there we go. It's going to consume a little bit of mana. You can see we have a little bit of mana ready to go um that it used it, it uses about a quarter of a mana pool or so um and that will de de uh, deviate between both of them um, but once this is full it's not really going to use any mana just running it only uses mana when you start it up or when you toss items into it which we haven't done yet but we will bam let's send this over to the good old elves over on the other side and they spit it back out to me they're like "Ooh, thank you for your overworldly knowledge I'm going to give you some of our knowledge. And in return, you can see right here, we get an upgraded book that just unlocked chapters of Alphamancy. So this stuff is a fantastic and there's so much now. Basically, we've unlocked your we were gated by this before, but now we completely unlocked all of Batania's potential. Um, well, besides the stuff that are locked behind the boss battle, which we're not doing today, but still. There is a lot you can do um, without needing to do that. One of my favorite things to do first is, of course, take all of this mana steel and throw it in. Ooh, we get pink stuff out. That's right. We get a whole bunch of pink elementium ingots. And we should get exactly half of what we've thrown in there back. So 32. Because it takes two mana steel to make one elementium. What will I do with this? Well, we're actually going to craft probably one of my favorite armor sets. Like this is definitely one of my favorite armor sets. Um, you're like chosen. Why, why pink? Like, and I'm like, well, why not pink? Like, why not? Seriously? Like what? Why? Why not? This is, this is a really nice armor set. Now I do know I have this cosmetic slot, but to be honest, why would you not want to wear this armor? Like, I think this armor is actually it's not better than diamond, but it does have some perks similar to like how Terraria's armor works, where you can have some like different perks. Actually, this is based off of some Terraria armor, but still <laughs> um, this stuff is fantastic. And wow, I feel like every time this updates, the armor looks different. And for me, the ear pieces on the headpiece look different and looks awesome now. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love this armor. So I kind of have this really interesting idea for getting these mana spreaders to do something really cool. 
I want to take these mana spreaders and force them into an upgraded mana spreader. And then I want that mana spreader to shoot the beam down, but my idea is to have these all dyed with rainbow colored lenses where it looks like a rainbow is shooting up into this one and then a white beam shoots down because all the colors are coming together and I think that's a cool idea. I don't know. That's just something that I'm running off the top of my head. Um, so to get these lenses, it's very simple. It's just glass and man of steel. And uh, to dye them, you just use any color dye and that will change the color of the mana burst. I know, it's kind of cool. Um, so all I gotta do is grab all of these, apply them, and then last but not least, and by the way, I'm using pink, even though it's technically not the color of the rainbow. I'm using pink because that's the only other color that, I mean, I could choose uh, for that slot. Um, and this was gonna be white, right? So with all that said and done, Let's go ahead and start applying this. So there's that. You can see it changes the colors. Put that one on there. And we're just gonna go all the way around. I think you can just right click on it. It doesn't really matter if you're looking at the front of it or not. Orange, red, and last but not least, this. So, now with, with all this, we need to get ourselves an upgraded mana spreader, and that's going to be an elven mana spreader. And that is going to require some living wood that is tossed in here. I believe it is two living wood or oh no, just just one. Uh, one li living wood turns into dream wood and we need six dream wood in order to get what I'm needing. There we go. And six and this right here will let us make a fancy, smanchy, new mana spreader. Um, I'm actually going to remove this lamp that's up here. We're going to get rid of the lamp. We're going to replace the lamp with this. Actually, I don't know. Would the lamp work? The lamp might actually function as almost like it's connected to it. How does that look? It almost looks like it's connected to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that. I'm going to keep that. And then we just need to wand it down. Remove this, because we don't need this here technically. Just gonna wand this looking directly down. So it's connected like that. And then add the white lens. By the way, these this shoots out pink mana bursts by uh, default. But now, once we get all of these tied in, let's go ahead and get all these connected up here. Oh man, once this activates, this is going to look so cool. This is going to be so cool looking. Oh, I ended up breaking the spark. I'll put that back. Oh man, this is... This is the fun stuff I enjoy with Batania, by the way. There are so many different cool things you can do. Look at them, they're all pointed up. And you can see all the different colors. And then it's going to shoot a white beam down. Oh, I'm kind of excited. Alright, let me get something... Oh, let's see. What can we use? We could probably throw some more iron in here just to get it running. Um, let's just throw a little bit of iron in here. That would probably be good. 32 iron. Why not? We just throw it in even one of the mana pools. Oh, it's like a beam and then it shoots a white one down. Oh, that's pretty sick. Technically, we could make ourselves some more Terra Steel. That is something we could do. Huh. And then whenever we want to use the runic altar, we could just place the altar right on top and bam, everything is like sending it its way. That looks fantastic. Oh, I'm loving that. So I kind of changed my mind on what lens I'm using because right now I'm not using a specific lens. I want to put a potency lens on here and that should actually be a bit better. This is going to double the burst. So you can see the bursts are much bigger. Um, the range is a little bit shorter, and we'll start losing mana at a, at a shorter distance. But at this distance, it should be plenty. Now, the problem I'm having is you can see that this mana spreader technically cannot handle these. Even though these are running like they're supposed to, this still isn't able to put out as much as I would hope. Um, but it's still getting the job done. I still don't know if potency is the way I want to go, or I want to go with velocity making it shoot more mana quicker. I'm going to try both. So the velocity one is definitely better. Definitely better. It is 
consuming it is definitely sending it faster and you can see these right here started sending it faster too so i definitely know this is working faster don't know if it'll ever catch up okay yeah it's totally catching up now oh yeah this is this will work perfect and this will start sending all that mana down here yeah these these should be losing I mean, they're full right now, but eventually they will start dropping once there's enough stuff to send. So to really get this up and running, let's go ahead and throw down a couple of these. Oh yeah, and basically with four full mana pools, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Terra Steel that we could technically make out of these full mana pools. Um, but as you can see, I, I, I do want to do that because I want to use this mana. Um, the if I leave it just sitting there, it's not going to be useful. So diamonds are the way to go. So we have one that's going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we should be able to get ourselves roughly eight out of this. Eight mana, I think. Four. Technically need six. So that should be good. And we should have just enough mana in there to deal with this. Um... For the most part. I'm going to go ahead and split these up, actually. And then those. And bam. And we can keep working on this. That way we can let this, you know, continue to do its thing. So first of all, bam. Second of all, bam. Yeah. The greater band of mana is much nicer. As you can see, it holds more than a mana pool. That was a full uh, mana. So, so basically one tablet holds half a mana pool. And, or, and you can see right here that half a mana pool means this holds two mana pools full of mana inside of a bobble that we can put in a ring slot. Bam. Inner arts. And uh, on top of that, we might as well grab ourselves some living wood, make ourselves a living wood twig, and then make ourselves a Terra Blade. Yes, it's not terrible, it's just a Terra Blade, which uh, is really nice. It's like a sword and it's an arrow all in one. And you pretty much shoot these mana bursts just about every time. I mean, it really is every time, right? As long as you're not spam clicking, it, it does it whenever your sword is fully like recharged. The little bar that's Looks like a sword that's underneath the crosshair. You know, that that one. You might have noticed I, I did switch this back and that's just for right now because this is actually way faster. This mana spreader is, is not cutting it, but I do know a mana spreader that will cut it. And that is the next tier up, but we have to fight a boss for that. And there's some more things that I want to make before we do that. Another great piece of equipment is the Sojourner Sash. Uh, and uh, this thing is pretty cool as well. It shows it'll go in a ring slot i don't okay so it'll go in my belt slot yeah belt slot and this thing lets me walk a little bit faster basically lets me jump a little bit higher i think as long as i don't know if it if it's on me it's doing the stuff so let me see normal running speed right here and then i put this on it should make me run ever so much quicker and i can also jump a lot higher. I can now basically jump two blocks. I also get auto step up, which is not the same as auto jump. It's auto step up, similar to a horse. So now I'm basically a horse. I probably have four legs now. This sash has mutated me. And um, we can now walk up steps very easily. No jumping. No more jumping needed. Wow. It's a lot nicer. So I'm back in the end just doing a little bit of mining because I want to actually enchant my Terra Steel Blade. I want to go ahead and make this uh, thing a lot better, the Terra Shatterer. And to do that, we need some better enchantment tables. And luckily, we have the ability to make enchantment tables really powerful. Um, way above the standard enchantment table. Of course, I think the standard enchantment table, honestly, it feels a little nerfed. Um, so we need to make some better bookshelves. And to do that, well, it's going to require some in-stone bricks. And not just a little bit of them. Quite a bit of them? I'm also going to need quite a few regular bookshelves. Luckily, I have those because we did harvest them. Um, so I have several bookshelves. We harvest those from the uh, the end as well. 
And then we needed some Dragon's Breath, and I have quite a bit of Dragon's Breath, and this was the main reason why I harvested Dragon's Breath in the first place. Now, if we take a look at what I'm going for, if we search enchantment table, it is the pearlescence. Now, we can have up to 40 of these around, these pearlescent in uh, yeah, in shelves. And you can see they require in rods. And we can actually make in rods, but they're kind of expensive. So I'm going to try and harvest as many in rods as I possibly can. And then just kind of go from there. Like I should be able to easily harvest these. Just need some rockets. So I'm crafting up 40 end shelves. And then the end shelves need to be upgraded. Oh, there's even draconic shells, which push 50 of Eternia. I don't know the difference between Eternia, Quantia, and Arcania is, um, as far as the, like, what they do, like, are there, are they bad things? Like, I don't know. I know the color red usually means bad, but this right here is the Draconic Shelf, which requires dragon heads. I mean, to have 50 of these means you need, like, 50, that's crazy. There's no way. Um, so let me just go ahead and make a few of these like this right here is 3.5 These are definitely bonus For sure. I just don't know how many in rods I have So we'll just use what we have for right now And that's 20 and 20. I think that'll be good for right now. Hopefully this gets us some pretty sick in chance I'm kind of ooh challenge completed The chaos of the end Hmm now, I still want to use this area, and I think it's still totally possible to do this. However, I'm going to need to break all these, because we don't need them anymore. And I think this is going to pretty much need to surround this entire enchantment table. So, I might actually bring the enchantment table down one. Um, or two, actually. I'm going to bring it down a, a little bit further than this. So that way we can access it. Because I, I think it's going to be quite large. Um, what I need to get done with this thing. Okay, so I th maybe this means max 40 as in... Eternia can only be a maximum of 40. I am so confused by this. There's no way this is going to require me to do this. Let's go ahead and let's change this up a little bit, right? Let's just, let's just change this up. I have a feeling that I am completely doing this all wrong. And that this actually doesn't need to be the way I'm doing it. It still just needs the 14 or 15. I'm just overthinking this. 100% I'm overthinking this. So yeah, I think I was completely thinking this wrong. Um, so just basically wasted a bunch of Dragon's Breath, but it's, it's no big deal. You can see right here, we now have level 80 enchants. This says indestructible, which um, I mean... It, it's really indestructible anyways. It basically has its own mending built in which it's mending re is basically it's being repaired by my mana so I Don't I don't know maybe if we also take some torches Does this affect it like a normal enchanting system would you place down some torches on here kind of blocks out The levels, okay. Yeah, we definitely ooh Vorpal would be really nice on this Vorpal I think would be nice uh, and I think it goes up to Vorpal level 3. So that is a Vorpal level 3 right there. Ooh, I would love to have that. Let's see what other enchants we can get. So I just managed to get myself 60 levels. Do you guys even know what it's like to enchant something at 60 levels? I don't think so. Look at this. Wow, multi-shot. But the Silk Touch 2 is what I'm interested in. I want Silk Touch 2 on this bad boy. And I... Uh, also getting miners favor like maybe we can put all this stuff on here I don't know but you can see we just needed that amount but still like what does this put on here it doesn't tell me silk touch 2 so miners favor we won't get but silk touch 2 is what I want oh that's so nice now we have an indestructible silk touch pick like that's crazy that's craziness right there um, unfortunately you can't re-enchant something but this blade like knowledge of the ages like what even is that what is knowledge of the ages like I don't know and like that ain't even the max like let's see what like what this is gonna do level 8 hell infusion 
What is Hell Infusion? I don't know, but we should find out. 100% we should find out. So just to show you how crazy this is. Like, watch. We're at level 80 and we're gaining experience this fast. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. Just, just insane. Sanity. By the way, we got some new, new people over here, but they're not really affecting the farm that much. And they're from, uh... Yeah, they're not really affecting the farm, which I'm kind of surprised by. Um, they're like mini, mini, mini Enderman, mini Enderman. Yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, they're not really affecting the farm that much, even though they look like they're kind of stuck over there. Eh, it's not really affecting spawn rates that much. So let's just go ahead and try this uh, bad boy out. Let's do this. Terra Blade, a level 80 enchant. Scavenger 2, Hell Infusion, Life Mending? That's a bad one. So, basically the red means the chance, okay, measure of flux. It controls the variance in enchanting. Your final level will be modified by this value. Okay, a measure of quality. It makes rare enchants more common and increases the number of enchants. So we did get life mending, which is actually not bad because I don't think we'll ever lose durability in this weapon. I'm kind of bane of illagers is not that good, and cavalier is not that good. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to see what hell infusion does. Like, is that a fire thing? And is does there does it say anything? Um, is there okay? Hell infusion deals extra magic damage in the Nether. So this is like a super Nether sword. But is it worth it? Um, I'm gonna say no. That was not worth 80 levels, in my opinion. I mean, getting life mending can actually be kind of dangerous. And none of the other stuff is really that great. Oh, <gasps> this doesn't remove life mending? No, 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 no. That is not cool. Not cool. We can't remove that enchant. What? That means it's permanently enchanted. I don't like this enchanting anymore. That's not cool. That's that's not cool. So I legitimately just remade a Terra Blade for this. So this level is what we don't want. Sea Infusion, I guess, is going to be... Like, it's just not even worth it. It's really not. Um, so that's why you would have those other variables. Like this. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Ender Disruption, like, this is actually a pretty decent weapon now. But it still doesn't have what I want, which is... I would... I just, I just want the simple, just... Oh, man. Just simple smite. Just, just some smite five. That's all I want. That's all I want, but it's all good. Like this, this works. I don't really know knowledge. I'm sure it's something. Knowledge of the ages. Enemies. Oh, so this converts mob drops into experience. It's that's a good thing, but it's also not at the same time a good thing. Like I don't like that will come off, right? Okay, good. Now we're at like a lower level. Oh, Smite 5. Thank you. That's all I wanted. That's in Sweeping Edge 3. That that's perfect. This is a perfect sword. I'm happy with this. This will do do exactly what I wanted to do. As always, I want to give a huge shout out to one of my new Patreons. Um, actually fairly new. So um thanks so much to Kevin Jansen. I really do appreciate it. Uh not thank, thanks. <laughs> to Kevin Jansen. Thank you so much uh, for being a new a new Patreon. I do welcome you guys. By the way, new things that are going to be coming out for Patreons. Um, some of you guys... Uh, oh, by the way, this can't be dyed, can it? I need some dye. Um, so new things coming to the fantastic Patreon. That is going to be... World downloads are going to now be exclusive to those that are... Patreons, whether that is a dollar or all the way up, it doesn't matter. It's just got to be at least a Patreon. Um, and like I said, you guys also go on the list and have a chance of being in a video just like this. 
Um, I need to update all of that stuff, but you guys will be receiving the world downloads over there on Patreon. And um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start that definitely this, this uh, let's play, but further um, newer let's plays, I will try to post them at least every uh, five to 10 episodes or so. Um, I think when we hit episode 20 on this one, I will be uploading that one over there. So be sure to check that out. If you're interested in hopping in this world, um, that's a thing. So I just wanted to mention that. Guys, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you haven't already, I love how that doesn't work. Even though Vasky made the emotes and Batania is also Vasky's mod. I love how the armor doesn't move. He probably has no control over that. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.